In the next part 2 Porky Pig wanted to get revenge on Bugs Bunny for bringing him a gift of heroin. But then he became mayor in 1987 and lived happily ever after until his wife slapped him. Oh doctor, something's happening in my life that's just horrible. I don't have anyone to talk to. Now hush there young lady, you can tell me. Oh but it's so dreadful, I'm awfully ashamed. There's nothing you can tell me that I haven't heard before. Well, thank goodness, because I'm just bursting all over. What happened to all the children, Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say. <clears throat> okay, then. Out with it. Look at how beautiful and happy everything is here. Yes, yes. Look at my flowers. What is this? Flowers. I want to hear you say them. What's wrong with that? You can't say life sucks while looking at all these happy colors. I think we need to study your problem beneath the surface. We need to dig down, find the root. No, no! Yes, you do! You do! What just happened, Daddy? Admit it, you little voluptuous! No! There is something missing in my life. That what happened, Daddy. Did any make it across the mountains? I'll tell you what's missing in my life. I wish I had pants. No! Daddy. No! Tell me they weren't skewers! Not the little fellows! <laughs> Excuse me. Daddy. No! You fellows! Some of the maidens! Jumping for Jesus, man. Hog senses, He Hog uses his ultra sensitive taste buds to read the very taste waves in the air. Help me, He Hog! My taste buds tell me that my loving sidekick, Half Life, is in danger. There's only one way to deal with this. This is a job for He Hog! I have the audacity! <laughs> Looks innocent enough. I don't like the looks of that hut. I'll use my X-ray nipples to see what's going on in there. Tell me the secret of Yog's power and their sisters. Even little, never. They live long, healthy lives. And slaves. And the Sultan's harems. I don't care what you do. I tell you, life sucks. Unhand that helpless young lad. Help me, Yog. It hurts. Tell me. When did you first discover this problem? I'll tell you what happened. Murder. Murder. Gihon. That's what life is about. Murder. And torture. That's what it takes to survive. Take that, Cole. Look, Gihon. Tearing. Grinding. Gnashing. There's your life. Think of it. There are millions more creatures living in the lawn. This is just one lawn out of billions in the world. It is a scientific fact that 99.9999% of all life forms will be eaten alive or will eat someone alive. The lucky few who escape will die from any number of hideous disease. What are you waiting for? Dinner time. <laughs> My God! Half-Life dead? He hog on the brink of suicide? Where is this all leading? Stay tuned to MTV to find out. Life is a struggle for survival. Killing he hog, killing and torturing. I have the unmitigated goal. I have the unmitigated goal.
Welp, nothing I can do now. I got marmalade on my butt. And it's alive! <laughs> Calm down, the little fellows were skewered. Skewered good. Yeehaw! And their sisters, too! Look! It's Professor Mole! Professor Mole! Oh, oh, no funny. Yes, I am Professor Mole. I couldn't stand this place. I took advantage of your girlfriend. I knew only one person could be behind this. Well, uh, I had a credit card and I'm spending on it while you're trying to kill me. But that's not true. Because what other program have I intended for you? Hmm, that doesn't sound so bad. What are you gonna feed them? See, kiss my daughter's ass. You know, Half-Life, I'm glad you asked that. There is something missing in my life. I'll tell you what's missing in my life. You wanna know what's missing? Wait, let me explain, please. It's life, Eeyore. Meaningless. Stupid. And cruel. I tell you, life sucks. It's a damn miracle. There's any living life forms left on the planet. I'm sorry, huh, Hawk? But you have to let your son go because he is a grown child. Not like he needs a normal life to prove himself. Believe that I serve only the good. Son, I know it looks bad. We've been through a lot together. I just wanted you to know that no matter what happens, I love you the way only a man could love a boy. Wait. Let me put that another way. Look, over there. Yeah, we're all pigs inside. Hands up, the hub. You are coming with us now. Welp, nothing I can do now. I got marmalade on my butt. And later, Puppy took control of terrorizing our town. He hug feels like crap, but this story is over. I'm finally going home. Anyway, good night. Hands up, people!